Good day, everyone. I'm Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics. And all right, today we'll be looking at a key pre mathematics unit two question module one, which is cal calculus two, right? Calculus two and complex numbers. And the topic is differentiating logarithmic functions. All right, so we have a question here which says find g prime of x when g of x is equal to log of x squared plus 9. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is to recall the change of base rule. All right, that you have learned from unit one. So if we have log base k of any function f of x, then that is going to be equal to logarithm of base c right log base c of f of x and you're going to divide that by log base c of this base here which is k all right where c c is the new base right that's the base that you're converting it to Okay, great. So that is what we will use for this question. All right, so what I'm gonna do is to convert the log base 10 of x squared plus nine into a ln function, right? Remember ln is log base e. This is because we know how to differentiate log with base e already, right? That's pretty simple. So let me also put that here. If you're going to differentiate, so d by dx of a ln of a function f of x, then what we do is basically differentiate what is inside the brackets, which is f prime of x, right? And we divide that by the original function, which is f of x, all right? You should know that. So let's get into the question now. So they gave us log of x squared plus nine, all right? So what we're gonna do now is to convert this into a log base e, which is ln. So log base e, uh, let me just write ln, all right? So that's ln of x squared plus nine divided by log base e, right, just following the, the change of base rule, that's log base e, which you know is ln of the base. We know that the base here is 10, right? Once you don't see the base, automatically you know that the base is 10. So we're dividing by ln of 10, all right? So that is what we'll be working with. So we can now say that g of x is equal to, the ln of x squared plus nine, right? And you are dividing that by ln of 10. Okay, so let us now differentiate to get g prime of x, which is what they want. So g prime of x is going to be equal to, ln 10 is a constant, right? So what we have is one over ln 10 multiplied by ln of x squared plus nine. So what I'm gonna do is take out that, that constant. So I'm gonna take out the one, right? I'm gonna take out the one divided by ln of 10. And I'm gonna multiply that now by d by dx of ln of x squared plus nine. All right, so this is now equal to one divided by ln 10. That's one divided by ln of 10. And when we differentiate this ln function, no. So we'll, we'll differentiate the ln of x squared plus nine, right? Recall from the formulas I showed you above, we differentiate what is inside the brackets. So this is times d by dx. We differentiate the x squared plus nine, right? That will be our f of x. 
and then we divide by the original function, which is x squared plus nine. All right, so let us now simplify. So this is now equal to one divided by ln of 10. All right, so that's one divided by the ln of 10, multiplied by, when you differentiate 2x, you get 2x. If you differentiate nine, you get zero. So in the numerator, we'll have 2x, and the denominator doesn't change, which is x squared plus nine. All right, so we can now say that g prime of x is equal to, if you multiply, you get one times two x, right? So we'll have two x in the numerator and we'll multiply the ln 10 by the x squared plus nine in the denominator. So that's ln of 10 multiplied by x squared plus nine, all right? And that is our answer for this question, right? So we just differentiated the log base 10 function. Now, it doesn't matter what base they give you, right? If, it, if they give you a base E, which is ln, then you're perfectly fine. You don't have to do any conversion. But once they give you a base other than E, right, which is like 10, 5, or 2, or something like that, you will have to use the change of base formula for logarithm, all right? So this is K Pure Mathematics Unit 2, Module 1, Calculus 2 and Complex Numbers. I'm Mr. Garth Reed, Student Ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and Mathematics Teacher in Training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.